Hey y'all, this is Queen Renee coming at you again for one more video today. I think this will be my last one today. I've made three. So, um, a little housekeeping before we get started. This is my channel where I talk about what I want, when I want, and do what I want, when I want. So, Sometimes it may be a story time. It may be some black history. It may unknown black history or a little known black history. Um, subscription boxes um, being open and um, current events and the such. Um, so if you like my channel, if you like... Um, to keep abreast of what I'm doing or talking about please go ahead like share and subscribe and to my channel and uh, let's go ahead and get on into this right now so I want to talk about Tim Norman which for um, those who know or don't know he is the son of Sweetie Pie from the um, reality show, Welcome to Sweetie Pies. Now, for um, just a little backstory on Miss um, Sweetie Pie, which is, um, her name is Robbie. And um, she actually had um worked she used to work she used to be a back backup singer and dancer for the Ike and Tina review back in the day and so um her son is being accused of allegedly plotting um to kill his nephew. He, um, let's see. So, what it says Norman is accused of orchestrating his nephew Andrew Montgomery's killing in 2016 in North St. Louis. So, he apparently orchestrated this um, murder for hire with um, Tarika Ellis who is a um, who was a stripper that he met and so they together set up this young man Andre to be shot to death so now we find out that a St. Louis insurance agent and music producer who I guess produced several several tracks on Nelly's Nellyville album um, helped him, Norman, to take out hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of life insurance on Andre and he has since been indicted as well so I'm gonna let y'all see if if I can let y'all see this picture it's so bright I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it because I think my light is shining too too much on it but Maybe you guys can see that. So, yeah. These two here. So, the one on the the white guy over here. He is being, he's the insurance person that helped Tim to get these, um, I think it was $450,000 life insurance on Andre. Now, as we know, Andre was only 21 when this um, 
murder a cure a cure a, a, happened i can't even speak today i'm sorry and um so yeah he was 21 at the time and this was back in 2016 that um they murdered him and they are just now being found out. So apparently federal investigators were able to trace calls and, and location data from burner phones used by Norman and Ellis over three days, showing them arriving in St. Louis and working to confirm Montgom Montgomery's location the night he was murdered. So... Data for Ellis, which is the stripper's phone, showed that she was there when Montgomery was sh was shot and called Norman one minute after the shooting before they both split town, with Ellis heading home to Memphis and Norman flying back to Saint back to Los Angeles, where he was living at the time. Now they also say that bank records show Ellis deposited about $9,000 into her account. Norman tried to cash in more than a $450,000 life insurance policy within weeks of Montgomery's killing. But he never collected because he didn't provide all of the requested documentations, authorities are saying. So, You set your nephew up to be shot and killed for $450,000 that you never even got to collect because you couldn't provide all of the paperwork that was needed. So you didn't cross your T's and dot your I's before you had this baby killed at 21? Mm. I, I'm I'm just I'm I'm really astounded by that. So, according to the U.S. attorneys, um, Young Haman, I think that's how you say it. Young Haman, Hamnin, however you say his name, and I'm probably I know I'm butchering it and saying it wrong. But he helped Norman illegally get policies taken out on Andre. So um, he had multiple businesses, operations over the years. And he used to be a music producer and insurance salesman. Um, he and Norman actually submitted three bogus applications starting in October 2014. Um, the applications misstated Montgomery's in income, network, medical history, employment, and family black background, according to the prosecutors. So, Norman was eventually able to take out a $200,000 policy and a $200,000 accidental death rider with an additional $50,000 rider that would pay out if Montgomery, who was 18 at the time, died within 10 years. So, he was 18. When you finally got this insurance policies against this child with a stipulation that you get more money, you would get an additional $50,000 if he died within 10 years of you taking this policy out. And you didn't think they were going to investigate that. Mm, okay. Okay. Okay, so they also say that Norman was arrested this week in Jackson, Mississippi, where he's been living 
Um, Ellis has also been charged with conspiracy and a murder for hire plot. Now, the thing about it is, is a little backstory. I remember when, um, because I used to watch Welcome to Sweetie Pies back when I had cable. Um, no, I don't have cable. I do it. Everything is online. I, I watch everything that I want to watch online. So that's um, one reality show that I hadn't kept up with um, in the last couple years. But I do remember when that young man came to the show. And I remember him coming and his grandmother was just so... Um, bent to make his life better for him, um, to get him through school and, and, and everything. And you could just tell she loved her grandson and to find out that his father had been killed, um, when he was a baby and, um, had been murdered and then to turn around and have his own uncle, his father's brother, to have him killed. You thought nothing about the grief you were going to put your, your mom through. Um, especially and she was trying to get him out of of St. Louis trying to get him to come back to Texas because murder rate there is so much higher and crime rates and everything but you chose to kill your own blood for some money that you never even got that he never even God, because the insurance policies were bogus and you had, you didn't even have all of the right credentials to be able to cash them in. And the fact that you, this person that's supposed to have been helping him, um, that was an insurance salesman or whatever he was, um, Y'all didn't even know how to get the right paperwork for this to even pull this thing off. So you literally killed this child for nothing. The act that you did is just so trifling and evil. That's just that's just straight up evil. And I ain't never, I ain't never liked him no how. Cause when I first seen him on the show, I was like, "What's why is he built like that? Them big old hips, look, looking like a woman, shaped up like a woman, walking around here with with his big old booty and big old hips and carrying on." And I was like, "In his head, he should never wear that hairstyle, cause his head already looked like an egg." So what is you doing? And then you always into it with your baby mamas and carrying on, but and you always want your mama to back you on stuff. And you killed your own nephew for a few measly dollars that you didn't even get. That you couldn't even you couldn't even cash him in. And you killed that baby for that. I hope you rot in jail. I hope they lock your ass up and don't ever let him out. Because he can't be trusted. Because if you'll do that to your own blood, you do it to anybody else. So, I want to know what y'all think about this. And if you like, share, and subscribe, um, hit the bell so you'll know when I'm posting up another video. But yeah, 
somebody start a conversation in, in the chat because in in the comments area because I want to know what y'all feel about this because this is just heartbreaking um, to see that this you need to get this child a chance because you've been plotting on him since you were plotting on him since six, 2014 is when you started this trying to get life insurance on him two years before you had him killed he was 18 so anyway y'all let me know what y'all think about this and what your thoughts are and everything and i will talk to you guys later i love you all and y'all have a good day